Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. So I was sitting here playing Gotham City Imposters, that is the game you're seeing on your screen right now, and I got the email notification that we had a new subscriber. So that meant that at least for a moment, we have 200 subscribers. Now that could have changed by the time you watch this video because subbing and unsubbing to my channel seems to be some sort of game that people like to play. But for at least a moment, we have 200 subscribers. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't some sort of a celebratory, yay, we have 200 subscribers video. Uh, it is actually just something I was inspired to make because this isn't the only little milestone that we hit in the last few days. July 19th was also the one year anniversary of the channel, so you have had the Big Dave experience here on Big Dave is Cheap for a year now. So those two things together sort of inspired me to make a spontaneous video, and that's not something that happens very often, so I thought I should take advantage of that feeling and get everything out to the world. So uh, a few things to talk about here, uh, mostly just vacation update and a few little things from the last week or two. So. Uh, I did say in my uh, last little update video that I had a few goals that I was going to try to accomplish over my vacation, and with only about 48 hours left in that vacation, I thought I'd give you guys an update. So, number one, Braid. Play Braid. Well, I have played four worlds of Braid. I think I have two or three left. I'm not sure what happens once I complete the ladder and get to the top, but uh, we shall see. So, uh, on the initial uh, map screen, I have, uh, I think, three two worlds left to complete. So uh, really excited, really loving that game. Like I said, I feel like a dick for not having played it a long time ago. So I am enjoying the hell out of break. So number two was I said I wanted to play 10 Steam games, 10 Steam games that I had never played before. So these are the 10 games that I chose in no particular order. Actually, now that I look at the list, these are in alphabetical order. So in alphabetical order, these are the games that I picked. Bit Trip Runner. Uh, I've, I swore that I had played Bit Trip Runner before, but I actually played Bit Trip Beat, I think it's called. Uh, the one where you're like a thing that moves up and down on the... yeah, the other one. Also, Beep. Beep is some sort of a 2D platformer, can't really tell much about it. Uh, Data Jammers Fast Forward. I'm, I'm going to stop describing the games because it'll make the list take too long. Limbo. Yes, I haven't played Limbo. I've seen Limbo played many times, uh, including on an Xbox 360, uh, but I've never played it myself. Shame on me, I know. Noitu Love 2. That's how I'm pronouncing it. I don't know if that's how it's actually pronounced, but it's spelled N-O-I-T-U. No E-2. I don't know. Noitu Love 2. Offspring Fling. Shank. Another game I've had for a while, but just have never gotten around to playing. Space Pirates and Zombies. Exotic and Xeno Clash. So this is the list of 10 games that I selected to play during my time off. I have played three of these games. Bit Trip Runner, Data Jammers, and No E2 Love 2. So I'm going to work on the rest of that list over the next 48 hours and hope that I can at least accomplish eight or so of those games before I head back to work. So number three was write an article for the website. That is in progress. I need to head over to PlayStation's website. I don't know what, it, what the hell it's even called. Uh, to get a few numbers that I need, but other than that, uh, I think it's it's looking pretty good. I'm probably going to post that on Wednesday-ish, so look for that on Wednesday or maybe Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, on the website, an actual article, gasp, something that hasn't happened in over a month. And finally, there is something creative, do my something creative New Year's resolution, or at least get started on it. So uh, yes, it's my pie in the sky animated short project, and I did do a little work on it. I actually did uh, design, visual design on one of the characters and uh, kind of got that nailed down. And I also wrote just a little bit. So it's in progress. I would consider uh, some of what I intended to do done. So I would say I've done about 50% of uh, what I intended to do with that goal. So hopefully I can do some more of that over the next couple of days. So that's how my vacation's been going. Other than that, what has been going on? Well, the Steam sale. Those of you who follow me on Twitter will know that I'm a little pissed off about the Steam sale right now. Uh, but let me sort of, let me break this up into uh, different sect sections here. First of all, I'm disappointed with this summer sale. Uh, I think that this was really front-loaded. A lot of stuff happened in the first week. And after that, there were some days where I don't know that I actually even checked the Steam sale. Uh, I think like day 12, 11 and 12 or something, I don't know if I even checked it. 
Uh, it was really, really disappointing because so much stuff was featured in flash sales and community votes that would then later be featured on uh, a daily deal. So it was really, really odd, uh, the style. Um, I have to say I prefer the old style. I prefer the style with the metagame where you earn tickets and you use those tickets to get special uh, items and uh, even games. I really preferred that because it gave me some reason to actually go no matter what day it was, no matter how many of the games I already owned, it gave me a reason to check out the sale, see what the achievements were, and try to do those achievements. And it, it really helped because if it was games that I already owned, I wasn't super disappointed. Like, okay, those are the games that are on the deal today. I already own those games, but I still have something I can do. Because I already own them, I can do the, the achievements. Yay. Super fun. Thumbs up. This new style of sale, I loved it for the first week. But after that, uh, I re it really fell off. I, I mentioned a few times on Twitter uh, some, some problems that I had with the sale. That was one that I mentioned several days ago. And uh, today, I've ranted a little bit about the other one. Uh, one of the last flash sales was uh, Saints Row the Third. Now, I purchased Saints Row the Third when it was on Community Vote. It was the very first one to get Community Vote. Now look, I'm, I'm not a rookie at this, right? I've been through quite a few Steam sales. I understand how they work. And I thought I was safe based on the information that I had read on gaming websites, on news sites, and uh, just by looking at the sale, I thought I was safe, you know? I thought if I bought something on Community Vote that I wasn't risking it suddenly going on a better sale. Because why would you do that? Why would you create something like a flash sale and a Community Vote and not have those things equate to the daily deal, right? Now, every other thing I saw, this was true. Walking Dead was 40% off on its community vote day. It was 40% off on its daily deal day, and it was 40% off on its flash sales. That worked. Everything else across the board all seemed to work, except for this. 75% off on its daily deal, 75% off on its flash sale, 75% off on its community vote. But if you dug deeper and you looked at the franchise pack, which is what I purchased, the community vote day, it was 75% off. During the flash sale, it was 87% off. So I overpaid for that particular pack to the tune of about $12. And I am really, really upset about that. But uh, I guess it's just buyer beware. During the next Steam sale, I will, uh, I will be a lot more leery of these uh, sort of secondary sales that they're doing. And I will know uh, not, to, uh, not to buy anything that isn't on the daily deal, frankly. And I guess I'm just going to have to switch back to that mindset because I bought a lot of stuff on Flash Sale. I bought a lot of stuff on Community Vote. And uh, I can only assume that there is a chance that I was ripped off on uh, several of those things. I have no way of knowing now, but uh, it really, really, uh, really, really upsets me, frankly. And I'm not going to talk any more about it because if I do, I'll just start to pull my hair out and say cursy words. So uh, let's just move on. Let's talk about what else has been going on. I hope that none of you got ripped off by Steam and this sort of shady, uh, shady practice, because I, 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 like I said, I think there was sort of an understanding that, hey, you know, these daily deals and these flash sales and these community votes are all going to be the same, and 99% and of the time they seemed to be. I guess I was just lucky to discover the 1% where they weren't. Okay, I think I said I was going to stop talking about this. Yes, I did. All right, moving on. So the last thing I want to talk about before I let you guys go is the future of the channel, right? We've hit a couple of mini milestones here. 200 subs, not a real milestone, but uh, a year in service, pretty good. Uh, you know, we've had mostly regular content on the channel for that whole year, too, and that's really cool. So I want to talk about a couple of things that I'm going to do uh, by the end of the year, I hope. Fingers crossed. The first one is Retro Roulette. Yes, I've mentioned this several times, and it's never happened. Well, I'll let you guys in on a secret. I actually recorded an episode of Retro Roulette, but I didn't like the way it turned out. Uh, I just really thought that it didn't convey the concept appropriately, and it, it didn't it didn't give the sense of discovery or, or 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 random luck that I wanted it to. Right, viewing something in a recorded state like that just it just didn't feel the same. Uh, and, you know, there was editing that I had to do and stuff, and it just didn't work. It, it really just didn't work. So I've decided that Retro Roulette is going to be done at some point in the future as a live stream. Now, what this means is that I'm not going to be able to do it until I get a new computer. The computer I have right now can live stream. It's capable of live streaming, but I'm a perfectionist. And I'm not happy with the quality of the stream that this computer can put out. 
I'm just not happy with it. And since I don't need to live stream and I don't have to live stream, I'm not going to do it until I can do it at an appropriate level. So I am, I am going to, or I am in the process of uh, mapping out and building a new PC or rebuilding my current uh, desktop. So once that happens, hopefully by the end of the year, I will start streaming. And once that happens, I will create Retro Roulette as a every so often live stream. I will let you guys know far in advance when it's going to happen, and it will be done in a, uh, a professional style. I have graphics and stuff that I want to do. I'm going to learn uh, the ins and outs of uh, XSplit or maybe some equivalent piece of front-end streaming software, and uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do it up as professionally as I can. So the other thing that I hope to do by the end of the year is to... God, there's no way to say this without sounding completely conceited or self-centered or whatever. <laughs> I want to increase my profile, right? That doesn't really mean I want to be popular. It just means that I want more eyes on my content. Uh, if I wanted to just be popular, I would just do a DayZ video, or I would do Happy Wheels, or I would make my wife play Slender with a scare cam on her, or... I would do a Minecraft Let's Play or or whatever, you know, I would do something like that. Uh, one of those bandwagoning things that is really popular at the moment. And I would just try to ride the coattails uh, to get where I, uh, to get where many other YouTubers have, have got. And that's not what I'm interested in. So when I say increase my profile, then what do I mean? Uh, what I mean is I want people to see my videos, whether they're seeing them on YouTube or seeing them embedded in a channel, in a page somewhere or whatever. You know, for instance, my, uh, my A Virus Named Tom video has something like 1,800 views. Not because those people came to YouTube and found it, but because it got embedded on a website. And my uh, Microvolts video has like 2,000 views, not because people came to YouTube and watched it, but because it got embedded on a web page. And that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, increasing my profile. That translates into subs and it translates into... Uh, a following on YouTube, whatever. But what I would like is for people to know that my video content is good and that it is uh, articulate and intelligent and it's something that they can reference if they want to look into a particular subject. So even if people aren't subscribed to my channel for my day-to-day -day content, I want them to know when something comes up, hey, you know, I can check and see if Big Dave has done a video on it because I know that he's going to deliver a certain level of quality. So to that end, I thought about what I could do in order to increase my profile. Uh, you know, I need to put out some unique content, and I'm not really in a position to put out guides, because I'm not really that good at any particular game. And after a while of thinking, I, I kind of came to the conclusion that I'm all right at processing information and then conveying that information in layman's terms, so to speak. And this gave me an idea. So the idea is for a new show called what the tech. That's right, what the tech. Take it in, let it sit in your brain for a bit. What the tech. Like what the heck. The idea behind the show is I will look into the technology behind the games that we play. Have you ever started up a game and you see that initial screen, right, that says a bunch of different stuff on it? It's got a bunch of different logos and crazy stuff on it, like uh, Autodesk Scale Form, Havoc Physics, Bink Video. Uh, all that kind of stuff. You see those logos that you don't really know what they do or what they're for, right? That's what I'm talking about. Looking into that technology, the stuff that backs up the games that we make, that we play, and, and stuff that goes into making those games. And yeah, it would probably eventually expand out into larger topics like the Unreal Engine and things like that, but starting small, right? I've already started research on uh, Autodesk's scale form as well as the Havoc uh, engine. So, there's a lot of interesting stuff out there, and I'm, I'm doing a lot of good research right now and trying to educate myself so that I can convey that to an audience. And this, I think, would be an interesting and unique feature. You know, right now, I'm, I'm really enjoying the stuff that Campster does, uh, Errant Signal. He's one of the game station guys. And I really think that the way that he presents video gaming in this analytical and intelligent way is is really a, a unique thing in YouTube and there aren't a lot of people that are doing that and while I don't think I have the chops to compete with someone like him in terms of analysis of games I do think that I could bring the community a service like hey what the hell's Bink video why do I see that on like 99% of the games that I play or AAA games at least 
you know, what is that stuff? What does it do? How does it function? And why should I care about it? I'd like to try to tell you guys that. So that's something I'm going to be developing over the next little while. I have to figure out how to actually format the show. Uh, I do like the way that errant signal is produced with occasional on-camera stuff that then and then throwing to uh, game footage and other stuff like that. Not sure exactly how well I could a accomplish that particular thing, uh, but it's something to look into. And I'm going to try to figure out how to format the show and uh, go forward with it there. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that. I appreciate everybody who's ever watched one of my videos and continues to watch them today. And uh, if you watched all of this, thank you very much. You deserve a popsicle or a sticker or something of your choice. A dinosaur sticker, per perhaps. So uh, this is pretty much it. This is what I wanted to talk about in this sort of special, off-the-cuff, from-out-of-nowhere video. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope your Steam sale went a little bit better than mine. I must be honest, 99% of my Steam sale was great. And even the Saints Row thing, I don't so much regret buying that game. I just, I'm so cheap that I really can't stand overpaying by that large of an amount for that. Ugh. I'm going to work on my vacation goals over the next couple of days, and I will probably see you guys with a video in, uh, in a day or two. Alright, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.